Hey guys, it's Penguin here, and welcome back to another goal making video. Today, we're going to be discussing how you can utilize Shadowlands Inscription right now to make a ton of gold that I have been doing in the past week, and it has actually become profitable in the last about two weeks. The reason for this is because herb prices have been dipping a bit, and before they go back up, I want you guys to be able to take advantage of this, and so I'm going to show you guys how much I've been earning and then exactly what I'm doing. So the first thing we are just talking about is Shadowlands Inscription, which means we are talking about missives, we're talking about the tomes of the still mine, we're talking about glyphs, we're talking about dark mood decks, all of that. Specifically, I'm going to be highlighting missives slash tomes as well as dark mood decks. However, of course, there's always those little random things, and of co course, there's old world things that you can be doing as well. However, for this video, I'm going to be showcasing those two items, and let's get into this. So what I have noticed in the past few weeks is that herb prices are steadily dropping. That is just because there's not a lot of demand right now, there's a lot of people farming, not a lot of people doing current content, and there's a lot of bots, etc. So slowly those prices are driving down. Now from that I've also noticed that the Nightshade and the Death Blossom price has gotten very very cheap. For the past few days, I have been able to buy Death Blossom for 4 gold apiece, as well as Nightshade for 30 gold apiece. Now, sadly, this is the day before reset, so all the prices got reset. As you can see, Nightshade is back to about 40 gold apiece, which is still not bad. But as you can see, Death Blossom was reset to about 28 gold earlier today. However, as you can see, the market value on my realm is currently about 4 gold, and then the actual region market value is about 5 gold. But yes, I... I am going to show you guys my TSM values real fast. If we go into the ledger and we go into expenses for Death Blossom specifically, as you can see in the last two days, I've bought over 17,000 Death Blossom, and basically I bought it all for four gold. Um, I bought about 800 or 8,000 of it right here for 4 gold each, and then I bought about 10,000 of it for 3.9 gold each. So I've been able to pick up that. Sadly, it looks like it has not picked up my sales, or my, sorry, my purchases from the last 25 days. I'm not exactly sure, but as, at least I do have these details right here. And as you can see, I bought about 17,000 Death Blossom for about 4 gold and under. As you can see, in the past five days or so, we have been able to purchase Nightshade for under 40 gold. Now, of course, about 12 days ago, I was still buying it at 40 gold. And then, of course, about two days ago, I was able to pick up about 1,000 for 30 gold. So it's definitely steadily gone down. It still remains pretty uh, standard at about 40 gold. However, that is still very low if you, I mean, if you want to look back buying this for 60, 100, stuff like that. So it's definitely been dropping a lot, and we even hit that 30 mark, but as you can see, the herb prices have been dropping crazily. Now, with that being said, about three weeks ago, my Dark Moon deck prices have actually crashed, as in, they basically just went under the crafting cost, and it just was not very doable. However, in the last week, I have noticed that it has gone back up, and I don't know if there was a big reset, or anything like that. However, the prices have gone back up and the profit margins and the demand have been going crazy. If you guys do not know, Dark Moon decks are used for trinkets. They are eye level 200 and they're really, really good for ults. So that is why they're all being bought. And actually, these are my sales for the day. Currently, it's 3.20 p.m. And as you can see, I actually have two Dark Moon decks sales inside of my mailbox. So that's 28k. It's about 15k per each. And then actually, with my current sales, I have actually sold yet again another one for another 15k. Now that is just in one day. However, if we want to go into TSM, and we can look at revenue, and we're going to specifically look at the last seven days, we can type in Dark Moon. And as you can see, actually in the last five days, I have been able to sell 17 decks for 137k. Now, as you can see, a lot of them have some really nice prices, but most of them are staying steady around the 6 to 8k mark. Now, the repost decks are selling for very, very cheap, sadly. However, there's not much I can do about that. However, as you can see, a lot of them have been fluctuating. Now, the Verocity deck, which I'm pretty sure is the most expensive one on 
trend for a lot of realms. It is still selling for a solid 15,000, while the other ones, the in-between ones are selling for about 8,000. And then finally we have the repost selling for about 2,000. Now, as you can see, about five days ago, I was able to sell the Indomitable for about 8K. However, 16 hours ago, I was able to sell the same one for about 17K. That's just because of market resets and stuff like that. And it just varies. As you can see, I sold this one right here for about 8,000, How and that was four days ago. But however, two days ago, I was only able to sell it for about 5,000. So definitely still changing depending on markets, depending on that. However, reset is soon. And if you can pick up some cheap herbs, this is definitely something you can look at. Also going around with that, missives have been selling really well. Missives have also be, been selling really well. This is the past 30 days. And as you can see, I've been selling a lot of them, and I've sold about 334 of them for another 172,000. Now, this is a month span, and of course, I did take a few breaks. As you can see, took about a week off because of the profit margins just got really, really low. However, whenever there was profit, as you can see, there is not an issue with these selling at all. These sell very, very fast, and once they do have that profit margin, you can make a lot of gold with this. So now I'm going to show you how to make sure you are using this to your advantage and everything like that. So I just showed you guys the actual price of everything on my current realm. As you can see, I have Death Blossom pulled up right now. And as you can see, this used to be standard around four gold until of course there was a spike about today, uh, this morning, it spiked up back to 28. So somebody clearly did a reset. However, as you can see, it's been standard about four to five gold. And if we just scroll down and we look at the actual region, so this is US region, prices the average right now is sitting at about seven gold which yes is not as low as four but this is just an average so some servers might see it lower than seven and it might see it higher than seven so as you can see death blossom right now for a region of the u.s average it's going for about seven gold turning to nightshade this is nightshade and as you can see the region average is actually about 43 gold which is just about three gold more than my server of course on my server it's dipped a little bit to about 30 gold however it keeps going up sometimes but it's remaining steady around 40 so the region average is basically the same thing and it's hovering anywhere between about 40 to 45 gold specifically looking at the dark moon decks this one right here is the repost one which currently on my realm is staying steady for about 3k However, the region average is about 6k. So actually my server is on the low end of that. And hopefully your server is actually on the high end of this. So hopefully you are making 6k or more. But as you can see, the region average right now is for about 6k. Moving on to Veracity. As you can see, the Veracity decks are staying for about 13k. We have this one. I Sorry, I do not know how to pronounce it, but it's the one that starts with a P. And it's staying for about 10k. And then the Indomitable right now is also hovering around that 8k mark. So the most expensive one right now is the Veracity going for about 13. And then the Repost is going for about 6k for the US region average. Taking that into account, we're going to go over to actually how to craft these. Now, if you guys have not seen my previous inscription videos, this is my spreadsheet. If you go into the description, it is called Wild Vendor Shuffles, and it's going to take you to this page right here. However, the third and the fourth tab is what we're going to be looking at today, the missives as well as the Dark Moon decks. And with that said, we can get into this. Now, I do have two videos going over both of these tabs in depth, so I can also link those in the description if you want to make sure you know how this works. However, I'm going to do a quick little overview and exactly just show you my point on this. So, as you can see, basically I have Death Blossom as well as Nightshade in here, and you can put in your server's prices, and you can also put in the amount that you're going to buy. Now, let's say if I want to use my server's prices, if we use 4 for Death Blossom, and we put in about that 35 mark for Nightshade on my server, as you can see, in order to make a Dark Moon deck, the average cost per deck turns out to be 4k gold, which means... This number right here means that if I buy 650 Nightshade as well as 8,000 Death Blossom, my crafting cost for one Dark Moon deck will cost an average of 4,000 gold. Now that is really good because if we remember, if we looking at these region summaries and the daily sales and everything like that, the cheapest Dark Moon deck on average in the US realms are going for about 6k. So with that being said, with this number right here, on average you're going to be making 2,000 gold or more 
per deck profit. Now, let's say you get five Veracity decks. Now, Veracities are selling for 13,000. So you're really making 9K profit per deck instead of 2K. So yes, this is not the exact number because you will have to say that there's the highest value decks. There's also the lowest value. So of course, let's say you do end up making 10 Dark Moon decks. However, if they're five of the most expensive and then like two of the cheapest and the rest are in the middle, or let's say you get two of the most expensive, most of them are the cheapest, of course, your profit margins are going to vary. However, with this cost per deck, as you can see, I am actually... As you can see, on most standard realms, you will be able to make about a 2,000 gold profit at the very least per deck. Now, the interesting thing is, if you guys remember, the repost decks on my server are actually going for only 3k. So technically, I am losing a little bit of gold because my average cost is higher than that selling. However, I am also selling a lot of the Dark Moon decks for close to 20k because as you can see I sold that indomitable one for about 17 my veracity decks are going for 15 and then the one that starts with the p once again I do not know how to pronounce it but it's also staying pretty up there about 8k so that kind of saves my losses also the amount of decks that I am crafting with the extra cards and everything it also saves me some of that loss of course, I could take another region and instead of creating actual full completed trinkets, you can also sell the individual cards to make some profit as well if you do not want to actually craft those Dark Moon decks since they are technically losing profit. However, as you can see, if most, let's say if three out of the four Dark Moon decks are above this average cost, I will say it's very safe to go crafting and everything like that. Now, if we want to use the actual region averages, as you can see, it's about 7 gold for Death Blossom, and the Nightshade was about 42 gold. And with that inputted, the average cost per deck goes up to about 6k. So as you can see, these re repost decks actually are basically maybe making like 2 gold profit after Auction House cuts, but the rest of these three are still making anywhere between 2 to 6k profit, so it's still definitely worth to do if you do have these higher prices. Now, if you do have very high prices, hopefully your Dark Moon decks reflect that. However, if your Dark Moon decks are cheap, but your herb prices are high, keep in mind it's a round reset, and hopefully just keep out for those cheap herbs. As you can see, somebody literally reset my herbs today, and now my Death Blossom is sitting at 15 gold instead of 4 or 7 or even like 5, whatever Whatever the pretty average part is for my realm so definitely want to keep an eye on this if you can use it to advantage lastly the thing I want to go over is missives now this is a standard missive calculator and basically this is just saying how much profit you can make per a thousand herbs that you pick up now we're gonna ignore all the other herbs and focus strictly on death blossom because to be honest I have never seen these other herbs become profitable that's just how it is but we're gonna focus on the actual ones right here now currently these are my current missive prices they are very very cheap um, I'm hoping your server has better ones. However, we're going to use this as an average just for now to reflect how much I can make. But you'll want to change this to reflect your current server prices to make sure you are getting the correct profit and everything like that. We're going to have our nightshade set to a 30 gold because that is the cheapest that I have bought recently and I still have some of it in my inventory. And of course, I've been buying a lot of death blossom at 4 gold, so that is where this is set. So yeah, and then after that, you are all set and you see your profit right here. Now, keep in mind that this calculator is per a thousand Death Blossom or Vigil's Torch or whatever different herb you are choosing. So, what this means is that if I mill a thousand Death Blossoms, I can make either 47 Tomes, 24 Misses of Haste, 23 Misses of Mastery, and so on. And this is also saying if I decide to mill a thousand Death Blossom and create the 47 Tomes, I will make about 12k profit. Now, if I mill another 1,000 and I decide to make 24 haste, then I can make 4,000 profit. And so on as we get to the critical strike one, which is only making 752 gold profit. So this total profit right here is not from 1,000 herbs. If you wanted to craft everything, every single box, you would need a total of 5,000 herbs because there are five blocks. However, you can use this to your advantage. So let's say these 5,000, the 4,000, or the 12,000 is pretty nice for you and that's pretty reasonable profit for the amount of work going in. That means you should buy 3,000 
death blossom because you're picking three categories and then you can use the estimated nightshade right here so i'm gonna round this to 60 and then 62 so you're gonna want to buy about 120 nightshade in order to get enough tranquil ink to make those and then buying 3000 death blossom as well as 120 nightshade we will make about a 16 plus 5 so about a 21k profit on just milling these so these are really nice because people are still trying to buy their legendaries definitely in 9.1 people will need missives for their new legendaries everything like that so definitely purchasing nightshade that is very cheap as well as death blossom and then creating these missives as well as these tomes for any raiders or mythic players or anything like that can be very useful and can yield you a lot of profit but yeah guys that is basically it now of course there's so many other things you can do with inscription you can look into old world glyphs which i also have a video on and you can look into different scrolls of unlocking and a ton of different things however this video is mainly going over shadowlands and going over dark moon decks as well as missives but as you guys can see i have been doing a lot of crafting i have a lot of empty I have a lot of empty cards and everything like that. However, I have been making a ton of profit with this over the past week and a half to two weeks. If your realm is anywhere like mine, the Dark Moon decks as well as the missives became unprofitable for about two weeks, about four to three weeks ago, so about a month ago. However, within the past two weeks, it has actually become very, very good because the herb prices are still staying very, very low. However, the crafted items have gone up in value because of just people resetting or people getting out of the markets or the demand slightly going up for alts so that is why you want to look into this of course if you guys do see that your prices are very expensive at the current moment be sure to just keep an eye on it yes it might not always be 100 percent viable like right now i could not buy death blossom however once that drops back down to four to five gold i'm definitely going to pick up as much as i can so i do not have to wait until the prices drop again if it ever gets reset again also, just a quick shout out to all of my supporters and all of you watching this video right now. I just want to say thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. We are celebrating on Twitch as well as my Discord. So if you guys want to join some of the giveaways, which haven't even been announced yet. So if you're watching this video, surprise, we're going to be doing some giveaways for 5k. However, if you do want to join those, make sure you join the Discord. The link will be in the description. And also, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash penguinrtgt to make sure you can see me live and everything like that and ask your questions to me live. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my Twitch, like I just said, the Discord, as well as my Twitter, and I also have a Patreon if you want to support me in some type of monetary way, and you can also get a few rewards for that as well. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you make some gold, get your WoW token, and have a good day.